I'm going to present you a paper about computing well-driven groundwater flow with a finite volume method. This is a joint work of Dragan Vidović, myself, Professor Milan Kupušić, Jovan Radanović, and our general director, Professor Milan Dimkić. Groundwater flow is given with this equation. It describes flow over some volume. We specify some conditions on the boundary. We can't always, we can't always find solution of this equation. In order to find solution, we must do some kind of discretization. This means that we divide this volume into smaller pieces called cells and time into shorter time steps. Then we replace this groundwater flow equation with a system of equation such as this one, which determines distribution of hydraulic head over the discrete mesh elements, such as cells, faces, or nodes. We perform finite volume discretization, special discretization, and implicit Euler temporal integration. This gives us, gives us following relation. And now, instead of having a continuous field of hydraulic head, we have its discrete values in cells. Fox is approximated with a simple finite difference. If the conductivity K is discontinuous, then uh, this flux formula is obtained by equalizing fluxes of this form from both side, sides of discontinuity. One of the problems in discretization is the implementation of drains in a finite volume method. The classical solution in both finite differences and in the finite volumes is that the drain passes through cell centers. In, on the other hand, in uh, finite elements, uh, drain passes through mesh nodes. Our idea was to use finite element mesh for finite volumes. We introduced one-dimensional cells matching mesh edges. These one-dimensional elements are connected to each other with zero-dimensional faces, which uh, matches uh, no, uh, mesh nodes. These one-dimensional elements are also uh, connected to the surrounding three-dimensional cells with one-dimensional faces. An example, if a drain passes through central axis of the cylindrical domain, we know analytical solution of our problem in stationary case. And it is well-known well function. Total well flux is obtained by differentiation of the well function. Derivative of the well function is a very sharp near the well. So it is not well approximated with the finite difference. Because of that, some kind of correction is needed. The classical workaround is Piesman model. Piesman model works on rectangular grids. Uh, mod 4, for example, works with rectangular grids, and because of that is able to implement Piesman model. FIFO, on the, on, <coughs> FIFO, on the other hand, works with unstructured grids. And in FIFO doesn't have concept of well radius and cannot apply 
piecemeal model because piecemeal model in its original form uh, doesn't apply on unstructured grids. Our idea was to use this analytical flux to approximate fluxes through the well face. So flux through the well faces should be approximated with this relation. Re results achieved for these parameters are presented in the table. We can see in the table that if the well radius is similar to the mesh size, uh, obtained flux without the correction, error of the obtained flux isn't very big. But it is, very sm it is smaller with the correction. But if the well radius is much smaller than the mesh size, then the obtained flux with, without the correction is 10 times lower than it should be. And with the correction, it is, uh, the error is less than 1%. This is a realistic model of a part of the Belgrade groundwater source with the river Sava, a channel, a lake, and two wells. Results presented are achieved with our program, which implement presented method and uh, the correction. So to conclude, we have presented finite volume method for the well-driven groundwater flow, which uses computational grid tailored for finite elements. Proposed correction for the discretization of the flux between the 3D porous medium and the drain. This correction is for unstructured grids. And with, use, with the use of this correction, total well flux is very accurate in all cases. Thank you for your attention.